I'm Kaplan America. Welcome to this month's auction at Kaplan Cycles. Buy a raffle ticket today for 10 bucks. Subscribe to the channel or I'll tase you. If you want to see your bike in the next Kaplan Cycles auction, give us a call. We'll buy your whole collection or one bike anywhere in the United States. Subscribe today or else. Holy flashback to 1976, Batman. This is probably the last new, never-ridden RM250 in existence today. Maybe Suzuki has one. I don't think they do. Maybe they do. I don't know. This thing is absolutely pristine. It came from the collector that had the climate control facility with the radiant heat flooring uh, and no windows. That's where this thing's been for a long time, and it is absolutely stunning. We have another one here, another RM250 that we're going to, same year that we're going to ride later today. But this one has never been, the clutch has never been let out and ridden to our knowledge. Uh, certainly not while it was in our care. We are running it off the bottles because we didn't want to put any fuel inside the original gas tank. We did clean the carburetor. I don't believe in letting motorcycles sit for 50 years without starting them. It's not good for the motors, for the crank seals and everything. So we started it, ran it, ran it, did a compression test on it. Everything's perfect, right to factory spec. And when we park it in the museum later today, it will be the engine will be fogged with fogging oil before it's put on museum display. This is the original paint, original seat, absolutely stunning, all original classic 76 rm250 exciting time for motocrossers when i started it and i was looking down at the gas tank had a little flashback to 76 and and uh i was on at the time an rm100 the little brother of this but it looked just like it so it was kind of like an uncanny flashback for me but this thing you crack the throttle you hear the throaty intake sound on it and the nice raspy exhaust if you compare this to a 75 or 74 tm250 this is light years better this is the era of roger de coster and garrett walsink and some other factory riders from suzuki that dominated the motocross circuits both both here in the united states and overseas it's a world-class piece uh the only item on the shock on the bike that's not original to my knowledge is the shocks uh, i don't know why they may have been replaced maybe he wanted to upgrade them to a better shock than the standard shock i'm not sure maybe it was owned by a collector that uh had two of these and rode one i'm not i, I don't know but uh the collector we bought it from had never ridden it sold it to us as new never ridden we don't have any evidence of the bike being ridden it has original handlebars levers grips plastics paint seat cover uh even the tires to our knowledge are the original tires the rims are in brand new condition as is the frame rails any areas where you would think there would be wear, like on the side of the motors, shows no wear or any evidence of it ever being ridden. So um, it is, to our knowledge, the last survivor, the last original new Suzuki RM250. Billy, uh, you had a couple comments you wanted to make about this bike also. Yeah, um, a version of this bike won the 76 Daytona Supercross with Tony DiStefano riding. Tony D. Over uh, Jimmy Weinert and Jimmy Ellis. Our own Connecticut boy, Jimmy Ellis, was third in that race. Was Ellis still on Can-Am back then? I believe so, yes. Yes, he was. And he was driving hard, but Suzuki outdid him that year at uh, Daytona. Uh, these bikes are direct descendant of, uh, you know, the world-class works bikes that uh, Roger DeCoster developed with Suzuki with their engineers. So this, this is the bike to have, or was the bike to have in that, that era for sure. In, in our opinion, too nice to ride, uh, to have one like this that, that has no evidence of ever being ridden. Um, we're just not going to put it into gear and let the clutch out. We did want to start it. The engine will be fogged, so it's essentially a brand new time capsule, and it'll be put on display in the museum with zero uh, UV light penetration. We have museum quality windows in the museum, so it's going to stay in this condition. If you want to leave it here on display, We'd love to do that. If you want to ship it anywhere worldwide, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Again, just an absolute time capsule. Uh, I think the bike speaks for itself. But, um, Junior, is there anything you'd like to, to add about this bike? 
not only is it a kick-ass machine, like Junior just said, but they're reliable. These bikes could be hammered for a whole season with a little more than a, a change of rings at every 10 or 12 motos. They're totally bulletproof. They can be ridden off-road or on the motocross track. Had great suspension and lots of room for potential with hop-ups like Fox Shocks and Simmons Forks. And this one's Bone Stock Original, the nicest one left. The nicest original. Now, there are some restored ones that look better than new, but you don't know the, the history of it. The metals um, may have been uh, worn hammered in racing situation i don't know but uh, this one the history is, is is clear this is a, a absolute museum qu investment quality classic in in original condition so if you have any questions give us a call don't miss out on this one they only come around once in a blue moon like this thanks for watching god bless japan suzuki and god bless america